Welcome back to our Tokenomics channel, everybody. Hope you're doing well out there. Hey, before we get started on this incredible tip, make sure that you click that subscribe button below, ring the bell, and just get ready for some more amazing videos to come. Get notified in your email when we upload another video. And hey, make sure you tell your friends about what we're doing here. So in today's video, we're going to do a short little tutorial that's going to help you out immensely because it did for me. <laughs> and here we go. We're going into our trust wallet. And today what we're doing is if you are swapping on pancake swap like we do, and I do myself, and you're, you're wanting to swap out some BNB for some of the hottest current um, all coins and uh, fantastic new news coins like that. Listen up. Here is what I ran into and hopefully this helps you. So I've got my MetaMask connected to my trust wallet. And as I go to my DAP browser in my trust wallet, I click on, uh, click on the pancake swap so that I can connect. So what happened to me was when I was connecting, you see that wallet address on the top right there, that was connecting to my trust wallet, which is, or excuse me, to my MetaMask, which is great. But all of my coins and balances that I have in my pancake swap were not connecting. And it's because that wallet address is not the correct uh, wallet address that I need to be connecting to in my MetaMask. So if you're having this issue too, you've come to the right place. What we're going to do is set up a secondary account inside of our uh, trust wallet here. So this is what's connecting right now to PancakeSwap on my mobile. And I don't need this one. I need to get to the PancakeSwap. So I'm going to go to the settings in the bottom right. And Really what I want to do is you see that wallet tab up top right now, it's just the connection that I currently have that I don't want connected. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to MetaMask. You're going to click the three bars on the top left and you're going to pull down, go down to the settings and pull that up, the settings tab. You're going to pull that up and you're going to go to security and privacy. You're going to want to click the Reveal seed phrase, blue button there. You guys like how I said click, it was uh, special. So you're gonna enter your password uh, for your MetaMask right here. Once you enter your MetaMask password, it's going to reveal your 12 word seed phrase, which you're going to copy to your clip clipboard. So once you have those 12 words copied, you are good to go. You now can go over to your trust wallet. And I'll start from the wallet here. So what we want to do is you want to click the settings tab in the bottom right, the icon there, the bottom right of your sub menu or draw, uh, bottom menu. And then you're going to click wallets. So as you see here, I have my main wallet that it was connecting to pancake swap, which I didn't want. I've already created my second wallet, which I'll show you here as if I haven't done it yet. You're gonna click the wallet, uh, the top right where it says, uh, where it has the icon, the plus symbol, the add sign. You're going to see create a new wallet and I already have a wallet. So you're going to actually click, I already have a wallet. And then you're going to click the multi-coin wallet tab, that first option there up top. And right here is where you're going to paste your 12 word recovery phrase. And then you can name it something like, uh, you know, your name, pancake swap or whatever you want to name that just as long as you name it and you know what it is. So once you click done, it's going to import in, you know, you're going to actually click import and it's going to bring it in to this spot right here, which is under your multi-coin wallets. And now what happens is you can select that. Now this is selected. What's going to happen is it's going to pull all of your coins and information that you have over from your pancake swap. So right now I'm going to click this and show you the DAP browser on the bottom icon there that says browser with the four little squares. I'm going to click that in a previous video. You'll see or go back and watch of how to get that browser icon in your menu if you're an iPhone user, iOS, 
uh, because of the iOS update, it did not have that icon there. So go back to our video on our channel and you can easily figure out how or watch how to do that. So now when I click my pancake, you see the wallet address has changed up at the top right. So now I can select my personal um, coins here and swap those very easily and good to go. So hopefully that helped you guys. It definitely helped me and spreading the knowledge. You guys are amazing. Have a great day. We'll see you on the next one. Again, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We'd love to see you there and have a great day guys. <laughs>